Today we are going to create a Day of the Dead sugar skull. First take your regular paper, fold it into quarters so that we can create a template. Using a small plate to create a nice curve for the top of the skull. Then measure the top half of the paper to the bottom half and that lower part is going to be where your chin goes. Using a straight edge of any kind, create part of the jaw on the side nice and straight, but leave a gap for the lower part of the jaw to curve inward. I like to do it straight first, making sure that I curve at the same spot on both sides of the skull. And then just curve those corners a little bit to make it a little bit more pleasing and a little more natural. Next up, we're gonna take a piece of paper to create a template for an eye socket. Fold the paper in half, create a, half, a little half circle, cut it out, and voila, you've got an eye socket. Then all you've gotta do is trace it on both sides. Notice how I line up the eye socket on the halfway mark. That is exactly where your eyes should rest, is on that halfway mark. Now remember, this is only a template. Now we're going to do the same thing, but creating a heart shape for the nostril hole. And it also goes right up into the corner where the four corners meet on the squares, on the rectangles. Next, we're using our same eye socket to create the cheekbones. It is centered, it kind of pokes out just a little bit, but it's a nice easy way to create those cheekbones. Create a curve about halfway down for the line of the teeth, and then break that space into four equal sections, nice quarters. Then do it again, break each section in half and it creates eight perfectly created teeth. Then all you have to do is add some little curves and there you go, a completed template. Now use the template on top of your watercolor paper. Trace an outline of the skull and then take an additional sheet of paper that we're going to create all of our watercolor colors that we're gonna to use to collage. Totally covering the entire piece of watercolor paper with water and then dropping in all sorts of different colors that have to do with my color scheme. I am using red orange for one part of my color scheme and that's gonna be for all of the little details. Then I'm covering my skull that's on the watercolor paper completely with water and then adding in the blue-green color. Using the original eye socket, I can trace onto my watercolor paper all of the little details like the eye sockets and the nose and have those fit perfectly exactly where I know that they should go. Now I cheated a little bit on this part. I cut out the jaw or the teeth and made them like a little grandma with no teeth because I just wanted to mark exactly where my teeth should go so I didn't have to guess if it was going to be centered. I just put some little lines to kind of put it in the right spot and then I used those same teeth traced around them from my template and it made the perfect teeth shape to put on my skull. Now I started a fan fold of the leftover paper, making a fan fold so that I could cut out multiple designs all at the same time. I decided to go with a nice teardrop shape for some petals to go on a flower. Now I made four petals to start, but then I needed to trace it and make some additional petals so that I could make an entire flower shape to go around one of the eyes. You can also make larger designs, bigger petals, or whatever kind of shapes you want, 
These are just the ones that I chose. Now when gluing things down, you can start off with a thicker line, but then you need to blend it away so it's nice and smooth and not gooey. We don't want glue seeping out of the edges. I decided that I wanted to make a slightly darker color of the, the red orange so that I could have additional it's just a shade where I darkened it with a little bit of black, but it's still considered the same complementary color scheme. I added on lots of little details, got really um, specific with it, and then I added Sharpie to make a very lovely finish. Have fun!